In Bali, we find a lot of these monster goblins everywhere we go. Well, I'm going to teach our little monster how to play our four chord shapes for Watch What Happens. The first one looks like this. So it's an open string, second fret, second fret, second fret. And then our next chord shape looks like this. So it's an open string, first fret, second fret, second fret. Our third shape looks like this. Open, 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 fret two. And then the last one looks like this. It's a D7, what a lot of people refer to as an Hawaiian D7. We're going to play it like that, but then put our ring finger down here. We turn that D7 into a D13. So it's second fret, open, second fret, second fret. And then we wind up by going back right where we started to the G major 7 that we started out with, open, 2, 2, 2. Let's take a close look at our chords here. Our first chord, this G major 7, you'll see that it's really just like a G major, like this. But we're lowering this ring finger down so it's looking like that. So we convert a G major chord into a G major 7. And now our next chord is just like an A7, but we're adding two jazz tones to it here. So here's a normal A7, but we're adding on our finger here to make an A7-13, and we add another one here to make A7-13-9, and we have a very rich sounding jazz chord, just taking an A7 and converting it to an A9-13 chord. And then our next chord is A minor 9. Now if we took off our ring finger, we would have A minor 7, but we're adding one tone to it to make it A minor 9. And then lastly, we put our two fingers here, and this is just like the Hawaiian D7, but by leaving our ring finger right here, it turns it into a 713 chord. D713, and it comes back to G major 7. It's not necessary to know the names of these chords, but I thought you might like to see how they're just spin-offs on the regular chords. We're turning our regular simple chords into nice sounding jazz chords. And we have the advantage here of playing all of these chords in open position. Every one of these chords has an open string involved in it, so that makes them open position chords. Where most of our chords in the Jazzy Ukulele series we're playing up the neck here, and everything is closed. We're playing in closed positions. But down here we can get all the chords for the beginning part of this song with all open position. Much easier to play on the hands. Let's start out by just cycling these chords. First we'll play the G major 7, then we're going to go to the A13, putting our hands like this. This just slides right down, so you don't really even lift up your hand, just keep it down there and slide the index finger down to that A7 and put these two fingers on. And now for the 9, just keep your ring finger where it is and let go of the other two for our A minor 9 chord. And then finally, when we go to the D13, keep your ring finger where it is and put these two on just like that to make those D7, but we're hanging on to that jazz tone. And back to the G major 7. So once again, like this, then go to this, then go to this, keeping the ring finger on, keep that ring finger on again, and tack on those two fingers, and then to the G major 7. And now we lift up the G major 7 two times, coming up and down like this. Now let's sing it. We're going to do it first just by just strumming one time as we sing the song. So we get a beautiful jazz chord ringing out. Let someone start believing in you. Let him hold out his hand. Let him touch you and watch what happens. And another verse. One someone who can look in your eyes and see into your heart. Let him find you and watch what happens. When we lift up this chord, you want to put your ring finger down so that this index finger will be free to bring the chord up. You could make it with your 
oh, th this finger, of course. But then you're gonna have a bit of a stretch. As usual, you use whatever works for your hand. There's no perfect way to play the chords in ukulele. It's whatever works with the shape of your hand. And next we can add some rhythm to it just by going like this. And just cycling, playing. And I'll sing along like that. Let someone Start believing in you Let him hold out his hand Let him touch you and watch what happens Want someone who can look in your eyes And see into your heart Let him touch you and watch what happens Watch what happens watch what happens okay there you have it you have some beautiful jazz chords in open position if you want to find out more about these jazz chords get the jazzy ukulele workbooks number one and two and this song happens to be also in the bossa nova classics book but it's in a different key the key i'm singing it here actually fits a female voice more. The key that I have it in the book fits a male voice better. So get those books and check them out. There's a lot to learn about the jazz chords. In the next newsletter I'll be sending out after this one, I'm going to be talking about how to play the melody with the same cycle of chords. Chord melody for Watch What Happens. So make sure you're on the mailing list to so get that next newsletter and I'll show you how to play the melody to Watch What Happens. It's okay. I'm just teaching the monster how to play.